The most common problem affecting the operation of manifold set is the pistons being worn, debris and other grime buildup affecting the seal or making the valves hard to turn. In this tech tip video we will show you how to rebuild your series 41 manifold set. For your convenience, all of the replacement parts shown in this video can be purchased in a single kit. Part number 41080 is the complete 41 series manifold rebuild kit. You will also need the following tools and supplies to rebuild the manifold. You'll need a 3 quarter inch wrench or a crescent wrench. Part number 41118, which is the O-ring lubricant. Appropriate protection for your eyes and also for your hands. Optional, you can use pass load cordless tool cleaner to remove any grime and dirt from inside your manifold bar. And then also optional is the dust remover that you can spray into the manifold after using the cleaner to remove any remaining cleaner and debris. When rebuilding any manifold, it is very important to make sure there's no pressure or refrigerant left in the manifold. Check gauges first for any pressure readings. If there is pressure on your gauges, safely release the pressure before proceeding. Remove any caps or hoses from the manifold before rebuilding. Once your manifold is refrigerant and pressure free, with the ports away from you, open both valves completely. This will ensure no remaining pressure is in the manifold. Take your 3 quarter inch wrench and loosen both retaining nuts. Remove both handle piston assemblies completely. If the inside of the manifold valve has lots of debris or grime buildup, you can use the pass load cordless tool cleaner to spray out the manifold. You will do this over a trash can and in a well ventilated area. This will remove any buildup from inside the valves. After you've cleaned the inside of the manifold, take the can of dust remover and spray over a trash can to remove any remaining debris and cleaner from inside the manifold. You would do this to both sides. After you've cleaned and sprayed out the inside of the manifold, visually inspect each bore for any deep scratches, dents, or pitting that will affect the seal of your valves. If you find any of these, you will have to replace the manifold. We'll now take the new handle and piston assemblies and place the o-ring lubricant on the piston o-rings. 
Hold the assembly between your first finger and your thumb and screw the retaining nut all the way up. Place the O-ring lubricant directly onto the O-rings and then screw the nut all the way down. That will hold the piston in place. And do it to both sides. Screw the retaining nut down. When using the Passload Cordless Tool Cleaner, all the lubricant will be stripped from the inside of the valve, so it's very important to use the O-ring lubricant. Now we'll insert the new assemblies onto the manifold, screwing all the way down hand tight. Once they're hand tight, you'll again take your three quarter inch wrench and tighten until snug. After you've tightened the handle and piston assemblies, tighten the handles down tightly by hand to make a tight fitting seal between the nylon and the brass seat. Your manifold has been rebuilt and is now ready for use.